that um, I'm, I'm nervous now. Since oh, I don't why? Know when, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm really excited to have you here. Your match, it was the first match that I watched um, in WWE, like a live. Oh, really? Yes. The Which one? Champa. Oh, cool. Oh, right on. That's a good one. That's a, that's a good first one. <laughs> Amazing. I cried. Really, Did you? Was like Which cool. was it in New Orleans? No. Which one was I, it? It was. I don't remember actually. Uh, I want to. It was either New Orleans or Chicago or Brooklyn. Was it WrestleMania Chicago? weekend? Yeah, I think. If it was maybe. WrestleMania weekend, it was New Orleans. No, no. So it was another one. Maybe it was Chicago or Brooklyn. probably Chicago. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah, I think so. But it was. They, I mean, they all, they all, they all hurt the same. I promise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That's why I'm really excited, and I, I think it, it's not just me. A lot of fans. You, I, I, I'm sure that you know that in Mexico and in, in Latin America, you have a lot of fans. So, congratulations and welcome, finally. Thank you, thank you. It's great, to, great to be here, and there's no reason to be nervous. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. First of all, I have to say, like, I'm really interested in which kind of things you have behind you. Oh, I have a, a lot of nerd stuff. Uh, I have, you know, <laughs> a lot of, I have, like, Power Rangers. I have uh, Marvel stuff. I have Batman stuff. I have uh, old school wrestling figure stuff. I have uh, all this stuff all over the board. I have a lot of oh, things okay. that are in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Power Rangers. Wh which one is your favorite? The Green Ranger. Green Ranger or White Ranger? Tommy is my favorite growing up. When I was a little kid, I used to dress like him for Halloween. So it was either uh, a power, if I was, I was either a Power Ranger or Shawn Michaels for Halloween normally when I was younger. Oh, that's great. I was a big, uh, I, I really love Kimberly. I yeah, the Pink Ranger. Yep. Yeah. Pink, yeah. There you go. Pink She's great. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So I need to just say to the people, is that okay for you? Yeah, please. Perfect. Muy bien. Pues, gente, ya llegamos con Johnny Gargano. Estoy muy emocionada y le dije, ¿por qué? Y me dijo, ay, bueno, no, no te preocupes, no hay razón para que estés nerviosa. Yo le dije, oye, ¿qué onda? Atrás de ti hay como un montón de cosas que se ven bien padres. Y me dijo, sí, son un montón de cositas nerds. O sea, por ejemplo, tiene de que a los Power Rangers, tiene de que eh, un montón de cosas de Marvel, de Batman. Entonces, ya lo sabemos. So, what do you think about the last uh, Batman movie? This is not uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, it was very... It was very dark. It was very different, but I I, I enjoyed it. I I'm, I'm not someone that views things from like a. I always go into things with an open mind and hope that I like yeah. it. Uh, I'm not someone that's gonna go in and be like I'm gonna hate this because I think when you go into something and you expect to hate it, you're gonna hate it anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I I I, I enjoyed it. Uh, it was a little dark, but I did I did like it. Okay, for me it was one of my favorites. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you, it so was you, more you, real. Yes, it definitely, it definitely felt more real and more gritty and more dirty, which I think yeah. like Batman should be as well. So I definitely agree with you. Yeah, yay! But your favorite Batman movie? Which one? Oh is boy, it? my favorite Bat. I think The Dark Knight might be my favorite ah. Batman movie. Uh, but I, I grew up. All the Batman movies when I grew up were very uh, like very campy and like uh, more comedy based. Like, not really on purpose, but. Like Batman uh -huh. Forever and Batman Returns and George yeah. Clooney and Val Kilmer. But I, I think Dark Knight is my favorite Batman movie. Okay, muy bien. Bueno, pues ahorita estábamos hablando acerca de todas las películas de Batman y le dije que, que a mí, por ejemplo, la última de Batman me encantó. Y me dijo, a mí también me gustó, pero se me hace muy oscura. Su película favorita es El Caballero de la Noche. So, now, this is a brunch show, always between breakfast and lunch. So, we always start talking about morning. For example... Now I'm starting my morning with uh, chamomile tea. What yeah, about I got you? coffee. I have coffee yeah. here, so there you go. And it's kind of cold brew coffee or which? Uh... Cold brew. So I, I only drink cold coffee. I don't drink hot coffee whatsoever. I only drink uh -huh. cold coffee black uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, for diet reasons, though. Uh, I, I much prefer sweet coffee, but for diet reasons, I drink cold brew coffee black because there's no calories in it so it's just much easier to get my caffeine fixed without putting calories in so you eat very clean 
Uh, yes, for the most part, yeah. Uh, I, it, like I, I eat very clean. I have a nutritionist as well that tells me exactly what to eat, so that makes my life yeah. a lot easier. So I don't have to overthink it. But yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I think it's a little bit difficult because you're traveling a lot. So how do yeah. you manage that situation? It's tough. Uh, <laughs> no, most of the time I have to pack my own food, or uh -huh. I bring a scale with me, and I have to weigh out everything that I eat. So it, it becomes uh -huh. tiresome at times. But also, it's just part of the job and part of my lifestyle anymore. So I've gotten used to it already. Okay. A ver. Pues bueno, eh, yo le dije que empezaba mi mañana con un tecito de manzanilla. Él empieza siempre, solamente toma cold brew. Esto no hay traducción para el cold brew, es cold brew, ¿no? Eh, o sea, café frío. Porque, bueno, me dijo que era solamente una cuestión de dieta. O sea, si él pudiera tomar algún cafecito, se lo tomaría dulce. Pero no puede tomar cosas dulces porque necesita estar... In a form in la que lo vemos, okay? Ya lo tenemos. So, for example, let's create a smoothie, a garganos smoothie. Okay. So, which kind of ingredients? So, I am, I am more of a, like I said, I'm more of a sweet person. So, I'll probably okay. go more of the fruit variety here. Um, okay. But I'll probably go, obviously, with banana. You got to thick, okay. thicken it up. So, we'll go banana. We'll go uh -huh. strawberry. Uh, uh -huh. We will go... I mean, if you want to throw some raspberries in there, you can as well. Oof, qué rico. Uh-huh. And maybe if you want a little bit of fat content as well, you can put some peanut butter in there, almond butter, Ooh. things like that. Uh, okay. Then if you want a base, you can probably put some almond milk in there. Uh, Oof, so we'll almond milk, almond milk, banana... Strawberry, raspberry, uh, peanut butter, and okay. I mean that seems if you want. Obviously, you need protein, so probably like protein powder or something if you want that as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. But that 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 seems like a good. I I, okay. I know people can get crazy with them and put like greens and stuff in, but I'm just gonna go straight taste here. Love it! It's my favorite smoothie. All the ingredients that you add, I think. They're perfect. What do you What do you normally What do you normally go for smoothie wise? I'm I'm fruity as well. But okay, for example, okay. For me, mango, mango, mango. Of okay. Yes, I'm a mango person. Really, you have no idea. It's my favorite fruit. And we have another one in Mexico, uh, that the name is mamey. Okay, I've, ne I've never heard of that. It's super delicious. You have no idea. It's, it's what is, a what, is, what does it compare to? Like, what does it taste like? Ah, it's unique. It's, it's oh, kind okay. of this color inside, and it's kind of a, a like avocado, a big avocado. Oh. But with the, the, this color inside, and it's oh, interesting. Super sweet and like creamy. Oh, interesting. I'll have to try that one day. Yes, if you're going because uh, WWE Live is coming. To it's Mexico. coming to Mexico. Yeah, I I might be there. We'll see. So if I if I come, I'm gonna if I I'm gonna get one of those. Okay, maybe we can we, we can create your smoothie and I can create mine and you can taste and I can taste yours. Let's do it. That sounds like a plan. There you go. And mine with avocado because avocado, for example, here, well, not here, uh, there in Mexico, yeah. we have an ice cream, like avocado ice cream. That sounds, I don't know how if I would like that. I like avocado, <laughs> but I don't know if I like avocado ice cream. It's yummy. I'll try really, it. Really, I'll, I'll try it at least once. <laughs> Yay. Muy bien. Sorry. A ver, este, pues nos fue más, ¿verdad? Durísimo. Y estuvimos platicando ahorita de cómo empieza su mañana, ya les dije cómo. Y después le pregunté que si hubiera, o sea, que si él puede crear un smoothie, ¿qué le va a poner? Y dijo que la banana, o sea, que el plátano, las fresas, eh, ¿cómo se dicen? Las zarzamoras, zarzamoras, eh, crema de maní, leche y, por supuesto, proteína. Entonces, si él llega a México y está con nosotros en México, vamos a tomarnos, él va a preparar, por ejemplo, su, su smoothie, yo voy a preparar mi smoothie con mamey, porque él no conoce el mamey. Entonces, le vamos a dar un poco de mamey al muchacho. Muy bien, vámonos ahora sí a lo que viene. So, you, start, uh, you started your wrestling career very young. In fact, I was reading that uh, since you were or uh, eight years or something, right? You started. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So where does the love for uh, wrestling come from? Oh, uh, I think as you can see, as we talked about already, I'm a big nerd. 
And uh, I, I love superheroes and larger than life characters. So when I was younger, I was a fan of like the Power Rangers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I, one of my best friends at the time was a big wrestling fan. So he was watching this thing called professional wrestling and he showed me it. And I was like, wow, this is kind of like superheroes and like larger than life characters, like in the real world, like come to life. And I think I realized at that point, like I can't be a power ranger and I can't be a teenage mutant Ninja turtle in real life. As those aren't real professions and real jobs that I can attain, but I can be a professional wrestler and I can do that in real life. And I can wear these, crazy costumes and do this large than life acrobatics and have this crazy entertainment value. So I think like those kind of things kind of go hand in hand. And I kind of always think like wrestling is like a comic book come to life. So the fact that I'm able to be a, a kind of real life kind of quasi comic book character, <laughs> uh, superhero guy is, uh, you know, I think it kind of goes hand in hand there. So I think those were, that's why it really appealed to me when I was younger. Wow! Bravo! I think it's the most incredible story. Really. I, it's like I, 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 I can't be Batman, but I can be, you know, Johnny Gargano, I guess. <laughs> no, 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 no saben la historia que les tengo. Le pregunté que de dónde viene, porque él desde muy chiquito, creo que es una de las superestrellas que desde más chiquito empezó su carrera como, como super, bueno, como luchador. Entonces le dije que de dónde venía esta cuestión. O sea, desde los ocho años él comenzó. Desde los ocho años, imagínense. Eh, y me dijo, bueno, como tú lo sabes, ya te lo dije, yo soy un nerd. Me encantan todas estas cuestiones. Y cuando a mí me gustaban los Power Rangers, eh, las Tortugas Ninja. Y entonces eh, vi a un amigo que le gustaban las luchas, ¿no? O sea, la, la cuestión de cuando yo estaba viendo las luchas, dije, ¡Ah! no, 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 espérate, ¿cómo? O sea, ¿cómo es que sí puede haber una superestre o sea, un superhéroe en la vida real? Yo quiero hacer eso. Y quizás yo no voy a ser Batman, pero sí voy a ser Johnny Gargano. ¡Pau! ¡Pau! Así, contundente totalmente. And now that you are in WWE, what does it mean to you? How was the, the moment when they told you that uh, you were going to be there? What happened to your mind? So... Obviously, I was a huge fan growing up. I've always loved WWE. It's the place I've always wanted to be. Um, and I was lucky enough to be in WWE and NXT for six years. So I was, I was already here for a very, very long time. And then when I left for nine months, I kind of sat back and kind of surveyed the landscape and kind of viewed everything around me. And at the end of the day, the thing that always kept creeping in my head was the fact that I never got a chance or an opportunity to perform at WrestleMania. I never had a chance or opportunity to win titles like the United States title or Intercontinental title or tag title or WWE title. Like I just haven't had the opportunity to do that yet. And I couldn't live with myself if when I am all, when everything's all said and done and I retire and I'm done doing this, if I was able to look back and be like, you just never tried. So the fact now that I get an opportunity to try and I, I definitely believe in myself. I definitely believe that I'm capable of doing some amazing things. And I think that the best is yet to come in my career. And I am just very, very excited. I get to work again and perform again in the company that I love growing up. Ay, qué bonito. Muy bien, pues la pregunta aquí fue eh, que, bueno, más bien que ahora que, que está en WWE, ¿qué significa para él? Bueno, no ahora que está ya un montón de tiempo, pero ¿qué significa para él estar aquí en WWE? Eh, que cómo fue la entrada. Y me dijo, bueno, ya sabes que llevo muchísimo tiempo en NXT. Y la verdad es que yo siempre veía como muy lejana esta oportunidad de tener un título. Y muy lejana en, este, en ser, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Como estar en un WrestleMania, como, por, por, eh, como protagonizar un WrestleMania. Eh, sin embargo, yo dije, no, a ver, espérate. Tú puedes hacer esto y puedes hacer muchas cosas más. ¿Por qué te vas a limitar? No te limites. Vamos a ver hasta dónde vas a ser posible de hacerlo. Hasta dónde vas a ser posible de llegar. Y lo estamos logrando. Qué bueno, porque la neta es de las más talentosas que tenemos. Ah, 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 ah lo dije. It's muy bien. So, you were NXT champion, as you said. Uh, tag team champion with Champa. Three times uh, North American champion. You had the NXT Triple Crown, the only one in the history in NXT. Oh, my God. How does it feel to have all this achievement? It's, it's wild, especially coming from where I come from, where... 
when I tried out for WWE originally, I was told there wasn't a spot for me in NXT. I was told that I wouldn't be signed, I wouldn't be here, and there isn't anywhere for me. So to go from that, to go from being told no to being the most decorated NXT guy of all time to being the first NXT Triple Crown champion is uh, pretty wild. It it really is uh, the story of my career, though, and that that is kind of what it's always going to be is um, I'm never going to be the guy that is, like, the first-round draft pick that is, like, the the guy you look at and you're like, that's the guy right there. That's our number one guy. But I promise through incredible work ethic, uh, through uh, an undying want to be great, and through yeah. just... I don't know, being a good person that uh, everything will work out the way it's supposed to and everything's worked out incredibly well. I'm extremely lucky. Ah, no, you're not. I mean, yes, but you're amazing. Come on, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're very talented. You, I, I can see that you have a big, big heart. You, you have everything. So <laughs> that's why I'm really excited <laughs> I to see you there. I mean, now, for example, that you are in, uh, in Raw, I saw you mm -hmm. on Raw. For me, it was, oh my God, finally, finally. <laughs> Because you deserve everything. Thank you're you. Thank you so much. You're one of the most talented superstars in WWE. I said it. Punto. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. Thank you. <laughs> um, bueno, la cuestión aquí es, este muchacho arrasado con todo. O sea, fue campeón de NXT, que campeón de, en equipos con Champa, con Champa. Tres veces campeón norteamericano y por supuesto que tuvo eh, la triple corona de NXT y es el único en la historia en tener esto. Y le dije, ¿cómo te sientes? Y me dijo, no, bueno, pues súper afortunado. O sea, me dice que, que, que él siente que tiene suerte eh, de estar ahí, ¿no? O sea, más bien de todo lo que ha pasado. Y le dije, no, chavo, ¿cómo? O sea, es que tienes talento, tienes el físico, tienes el corazón, lo tienes todo y por fin ya lo estamos viendo ahora sí en, en Raw, y esto se va a poner cada vez mejor, porque él se merece todo. Ya lo dije. So, <clears throat> I have to confess that your appearance on Raw made me shiver because uh, for a long time, many of us wanted to see you in the main roster. I mean, yeah. uh, your debut against uh, Chad Gable, it was awesome. So, how do you feel returning to... Uh, Well, not returning, but now that you're there in that yeah. part of uh, the league. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm very excited. You know, I think this is the time that I can kind of take to cement my legacy and show everyone out there what I'm really, really capable of. Um, how do I feel? That's how I feel uh, mentally. How do I feel physically? A little beat up because I hadn't done anything in nine months. So I, my body's getting used to doing this again. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I got to build the callus again for my uh, getting beat up all the time. Um, but you know, I think it's slow and steady and, yeah. uh, I think the best is yet to come, but how do I feel? I think, you know, you know, for many years, people always wondered what it'd be like if I was on raw or SmackDown and now we're living in that era. So all these dream matches that people wh like whipped up in their head, all these things that people want to see, we can finally make that happen. So it it's exciting times all over the world. See, sí, congratulations. I mean, in Mexico, in Mexico, we say that when you have a kid, um, I don't know if you if you heard the name of uh, tor the, the torta. Okay. That is I don't kind think of so. a sandwich. So okay. It's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Sandwich. Yeah. 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 So we said in Mexico that when you have a kid, uh, it has like a lucky, but it has a, a torta behind uh, his or her arm, and it's a lucky one. I mean, it's a lot a lucky thing. So I think your kid, your beautiful girl, because it's a girl, right? Boy. Boy. A boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but you have, a, yeah. So you've been uh, nine months yes. just enjoying that part of your life. And mm -hmm. now all the uh, words and all the things that they're just for you, there will be a waiting for you. So congratulations. And I think you deserve just the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm very excited. Yeah, we are very excited as yeah. well. Muy bien, pues eh, me dijo que, que se siente ahora que regresó a WWE después de nueve meses de estar con su chiquillo, pues se siente súper contento porque finalmente 
ya está por acá, pero está cansado. O sea, dijo, bueno, pues es que ha sido también como empezar, dale, 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 dale. Y estamos, o sea, donde siempre habíamos querido, ¿no? Que si escoges Raw, que si escoges Snyder, pero por fin estamos aquí. Y dice que sí, que está un poco como cansado. So, at the end of the match, Theory interfered and attacked you. So, what is happening with uh, Mr. Money in the Bank? I don't know. You got to tell me. Uh, obviously... <sighs> He, for some reason, is a little triggered by me coming back and being around again. Uh, we were together in NXT, and I took him under my wing, yeah. and uh, he was a part of the way with me, Candice, and Indy. And ultimately, at the end of the day, my goal for him was always be for him to be in the position that he's in now. I wanted to see him succeed. I want to see him succeed. I want to see him be money Mr. Running the Bank. I want to see him go on and win titles. Because when I picked him, I picked him because I knew he was going to be the future of WWE. I think that he's just handled things a little bit differently. And I think that just comes from being handed things. I think that comes from not having an appreciation for where he's at currently in his life. because he is very young and it comes with experience, yeah. you know, life experience here and there. But I think my job now is to humble him and uh, uh -huh. make him appreciate the things he has. Orale. Muy bien. Pues a ver, sabemos perfecto lo que pasó, que al final del match que tuvo con Chad Gable, que llega el señorito, ¿verdad? Eh, Austin y le lo atacó. Y yo le dije, ¿qué onda? O sea, ¿qué está pasando con él? Y me dijo, mira, yo lo conozco desde NXT y la verdad es que es muy joven. Yo le deseo siempre lo mejor y le va a ir cañón porque pues es muy talentoso, bla, bla, bla. Sin embargo, el muchacho, como es muy joven, no sabe agradecer las cosas y no sabe apreciar las cosas. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que yo, para, para qué estoy yo ahí con él? Para darle una lección de humildad. Le va a enseñar humildad. ¿Ok? Ya lo tenemos. And you also avoid the intervention of theory and uh, won the match. So, how are you uh, planning to stop him with this continuous uh, attacks? Obviously, he feels like he needs to get involved in everything I do. But I know him very well. I feel like I know him better than anyone on the roster. I taught him a lot of things, but I didn't teach him everything. So every move that he thinks he's going to make, everything he thinks he's going to try to pull on me, I'm always going to be one step ahead. Because everything he knows, I know. And I know 10 times more. Ándale, maestro. Eso es de lo que se trata. Le dije, a ver, este, también qué onda, porque cómo vas a planear a, como detenerlo. Y me dijo, mira, él cree que se la sabe de todas, todas. Pero básicamente yo soy el polli, o sea, yo soy el gallo aquí. Le, o sea, cuando él está intentando hacer algo, yo ya sé a dónde va. Entonces yo ya sé cómo, cómo, eh, cómo detenerlo. What is your, now, I want to know what is your dream match um, that you return to the ring? And what are your plans? Now that so dream matches. Now there's a lot of things out there people wanted to see for a very, very long time. So... Obviously, there's guys that I've already been in the ring with on the indies and things like that that I haven't wrestled on a big stage. Guys mm -hmm. like Seth Rollins, AJ Styles. Okay. Uh, those are two guys off the top of my head. Um, but there's also legends that I haven't had a chance to mix it up with. Guys like Edge, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio. Um, there's so much great talent out there. Uh, there's so much amazing people out there and dream matches that haven't happened yet so the fact that we can make all those happen now is a pretty cool thing okay hopefully you're coming to mexico and we can see for the first time a match against rey mysterio that would be historical. that'd be awesome that'd be a dream come true trust me <laughs> okay okay we hope so so now just uh we have a uh, question uh, from fans are you ready just one yeah sure yeah okay thank you so much oh sorry So what are your thoughts on NXT stars really uh, showing their shine on the main roster? Yeah, I think we're in an amazing time period right now, and there's so much amazing talent. There's especially a lot of great talent in NXT. Uh, obviously, like the Braun Breakers and, and guys like that obviously stick out. The Creed Brothers. Cora Jade, Roxanne, Indy obviously is, is, is ready-made for the main roster. I think there's a lot of great talent down in NXT. Uh, 